Well, I have a confession to make. My wife, Joanne, and I watch Hallmark Christmas movies. <laughs> I mean, so I know. It's not really a guy thing. I know that. But, you know, Joanne watches them, and I want to be with Joanne. And so it's not the best cinema in the world. And, you know, um, the, after the first 10 minutes, you know who's going to fall in love with each other. <laughs> and every movie is basically a new version about the same plot. But it's guaranteed happy ending. And you know what? Sometimes that's just a really good thing. So last week we were watching this movie, and I can't, I can't even remember the name of it, but I'll tell you what I do remember. I remember that uh, the sort of the star in it was a country and western singer. That's not really my style of music, but, but this guy was, was writing, was part of the plot was he was writing a new song about Christmas. And, um, of course, he sang it. I'm not going to sing it for you, but he sang it, and I do remember the first line of the refrain. It goes like this. Mama just called and said, it's time for you to come home for Christmas. Mama just called and said, it's time for you to come home for Christmas. Well, that sort of put a smile on my face, you know. Come home for Christmas. And it started me thinking, remembering memories of Christmas. And one of them was on Christmas Day 60 years ago. I was 11 years old, and my brother Winston was 10, and my best friend Johnny was 11. And it was Christmas morning, and um, our parents were getting ready to go to church, and we didn't want to go to church. I mean, we'd been to the midnight service, you know, and it was a big, big deal. But we said, you know, can't we just stay home? You know, and I said, okay. So they got really good, and she said, um, okay, boys, be good. Yes, ma'am. And uh, they left, and uh, we went to get the fireworks that we'd gotten in our stocking. <laughs> we thought we'd have some fun with fireworks while the parents were away, and so we went out in the front yard and then moved down the street a little bit, and there was a cotton field there right next to our house. And, uh, you know, the cotton field stalks were dead and dry. And we started, we lit those sparklers, and um, we were, you know, sort of messing around with them. And then cars kept coming by, and we thought, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. I don't know. So we put the sparklers behind our backs. And um, then we turned around, and there was a fire there. The sparklers had caught those, wild, those dry co cotton stalks on fire. And, uh, you know, okay, well, let's just put it out. We said to try to stomp it out with our shoes. That didn't work. And then uh, I ran to get three, three shovels, so I'd come down and beat the fire down, and uh, we really were doing that because it was getting, a, you know, the fire was growing. The wind was blowing. It was moving, moving towards our house, and uh, that wasn't working either. So I ran inside and called the fire department. The fire department came, and thank goodness, they stopped the fire, you know, right before it got to our yard. And our neighbor, Mr. Fowler, came up, and uh, there was sort of a crowd gathered there with a the fire truck and everything. <laughs> Christmas Day, you know, a little excitement in a small town. And, um, and Mr. Fowler came over and said, well, boys, what happened? And uh, the three of us together said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mr. Fowler said, well, well listen, boys. Uh, when you find out wh who started this thing, tell, tell, tell that person that you shouldn't be playing with fireworks on a, in a dry cotton field. <laughs> now, I realize that, um, that Christmas and home, you know, come home for Christmas. Christmas and home um, bring up a wide diversity of feelings and emotions. Um, some memories coming home for Christmas are, are joyful and funny and tender and loving and something we like to share maybe every year because it's just sort of a part of the liturgy of coming home for Christmas. And some of those memories are, are not so happy. Some of them are tragic. Some of them are depressing. Some of them are dark. Some of them are even dangerous. So there's a, there's a wide variety of how we think about
coming home for Christmas. And when I was in downtown D.C., at this time of the year, do work, ministering with the homeless, I learned a lot more about home, you know, coming home for Christmas. Uh, homeless didn't have a physical home, but more than one person told me, my home is wherever I feel safe, respected, and loved. I think that's a pretty good definition, and that's in fact where many of us felt in our home as we grew up and feel it in our home now. But throughout our lives, I bet many of us have found, have discovered that we needed to create a home again, just like those homeless people, um, because there was a need for us if we moved or some change in our lives. We had to create a home again, and, and maybe that was a time when we would be looking for that place that we were safe, respected, and loved. You got to remember that the term homeless is actually a very difficult term. I mean, how many people want to be pigeonholed into this or that description of their lives or their status? But, but Mary and Joseph were homeless when Jesus was born. There was no room for him in the end. They were in a strange place. But again, sometimes, sometimes we need to create that space because of changes in our lives where we feel safe, loved, and respected. And usually when that happens, not only do we have those feelings, those emotions, but we also, it's also a space where we can, where we can remember, where we can remember the loving of the past, celebrate the joy of the present, and really be thankful for the comfort of the future. You know, there's the different ways we can talk about this. Well, Joanne and I chose for our wedding reception first dance, a song about home. It's called Feels Like Home to Me. And it was written by uh, Randy Newman. It's sung by Bonnie Raitt. And uh, it goes like this. Feels like home to me. Feels like I'm all the way back where I've come from. Feels like I'm all the way back where I belong another good, good definition of coming home, somehow connected to where it all began and somehow connected to belonging. So tonight, tonight in this sacred place, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And I think all of us here tonight come home this Christmas night. Because with the birth of Jesus, with God choosing, God choosing to take on human flesh in the incarnate Jesus Christ as a way to share God's love with us, as a way to reach out to us humans, it's, it's that birth of Jesus that really is our beginning, our spiritual beginning in a way. There were other beginnings in the past, in the past but, but that's when the Christian part came in. It is this ceremony of remembering that birth that takes us back to when things changed along that faith journey of the Jews into the faith journey of the Christians. And there's something about learning, remembering, coming home to it, remembering that birth that makes us feel belong, that makes us feel like this is our home, where Jesus is. When we feel the love of Jesus, when we can really receive the love of Jesus. 
and return the love of Jesus, it is exactly where we belong. And it also does connect us spiritually to where we came from. And not only do I believe that all of us here are coming home this Christmas as we celebrate that event, but I also believe that as we come into this place to worship and to hear the story of the birth of Jesus, to share our prayers and to receive communion, I feel that at varying degrees, it depends on who we are, that we are all yearning, yearning to feel the love of Jesus and to share that love with others. That's the way we were created. That's where we came from. So it's important for us to cherish every moment of our time together tonight. For it is about the birth of a little baby who grew into Jesus. But it's also about our yearning to be connected. It's also about our desire to feel that Jesus Christ is with us right now right here. I mean, think about that. And feel that for a moment. That Jesus Christ is here with us right now. And so we are called to believe it and to rejoice. Amen.